This video was sponsored by Zen Market. Want to buy from Japanese online stores and ship to your country? Zen Market is the best Japan proxy shopping service for you that's trusted by over 2 million members. Discover online shopping in Japan and directly shop on Mercari, Amazon Japan, Rakuten, and Rakuma, or even live bid on Yahoo. I've been able to find a variety of different Ichiban Kuji figures for my growing Dragon Ball collection for some of the cheapest prices I've ever seen. Zen Market supports 19 different languages and has excellent customer service. Whenever you buy from Zen Market, you can buy in faith knowing that their items are well packaged with no consolidation fees. You also have plenty of different shipping options from surface level shipping, UPS, FedEx, and others. Zen Market offers multiple payment options like PayPal as well to create as inviting of a shopping experience as possible. I found this e-moving Super Saiyan Goku for only $36. I also found this King Cluster Broly for only $36. $39. I even found one of the latest complete Ichiban Kuji sets, Temple Above the Clouds, for only $263. With Zen Market, you can buy almost anything from any Japanese online store as long as it's eligible for international shipping. So please make sure you check out Zen Market today with my sign-up code MATCHESPEACHES while creating an account to get 1,000 Zen points. Happy collecting to all of those out there and thank you to Zen Market for sponsoring this video. What's up guys, Matt back again, and today I'd like to teach you guys how I source and buy Dragon Ball figures on ZenMarket.com. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. Step 1. Go to MyFigureCollection.net and search for the figure or set that you're looking for. On this website, you can search for either the Kuji, series, character, or anime name. I collect Ichiban Kuji, so I'm going to search for the Kuji name. Once you find the Ichiban Kuji you're looking for, you can copy the Kuji's name written in the original Japanese kanji. After copying the kanji, head over to Zen Market, paste the Kuji name, and search on either Yahoo Auction or Mercari. If that doesn't provide the results that you're looking for, you can use the prize letter name and the character name seen on MyFigureCollection.net instead. Step 2. Look at the listings and pick the figure you're looking for. This is pretty straightforward, but there are a few areas that I'd like you to pay attention to. Make sure you're paying attention to either bid or buyout options. Also make sure you're looking at the seller ratings. You can click on the seller ratings to get more detail on the positive and negative experiences from different people. Pay attention to whether or not the item has domestic shipping included. If the item says no domestic shipping is included, you will see more fees get taken out of your Zen Market account for them to ship it to the Zen Market warehouse. And of course, you're going to want to see what the shipping costs are going to be for importing your figure directly from Zen Market's warehouse. That's going to take a little bit of trial and error and of course getting accustomed to how much these figures usually cost for you to ship. If you want a little bit better of an idea, you can calculate the shipping on the listing of the figure. A lot of my reviews and Include the size and weight of the figure so you can use that. Step 3. Add funds to your account before buying the figure. You won't be able to actually purchase a figure until you put funds on your Zen Market account beforehand. They give you plenty of different options for you to add funds to your account. I personally use PayPal. They all have a little bit of a processing fee, so keep that in mind. Step 4. Buy your item. There's a lot of different ways for you to buy things. You can add things to your cart via Mercari and then buy it. If you're using Yahoo Auction, then you're going to have to use a bidding option, which will cost 500 yen for processing. If you don't want your bid to be public, then you can do a sniper bid, which will put your bid out five to six minutes before the listing is done. Yahoo Auction also includes buyouts, so you can just buy the item straight out. Very similar to eBay.
Step five, wait for your item to reach the warehouse. Once you actually buy your item, it's gonna go through different stages of the process once you get it through Zen Market. All of that will be listed on your account so you can see it all right there. They're gonna go from waiting to purchase, bought, and then eventually they're gonna arrive at the warehouse. Step six, create a parcel. Once the items finally reach the warehouse, you can finally package them within your parcel of choice. There are plenty of different shipping options like EMS, surface shipping, and FedEx. As a content creator, I like to get my figures as soon as possible, so I typically pick FedEx, but that is a little bit of a pricier option. My recommendation is if you're trying to save money on shipping and importing, consolidate as many figures as you can within the parcel and then ship it out using surface shipping. Surface shipping will take three to six months to get to you, but it is very, very cheap. And again, consolidating is best. Zen Market will hold your figures up to 60 days before charging you to keep them at their warehouse. So the more figures that you can consolidate into a single package, the better the shipping costs are gonna be for you in the long haul. If you're also hesitant to ship it out without proper reinforcement, Zen Market does add a optional cost for you to reinforce the package. Again, this is completely optional, so you can add it, but I don't think it's completely necessary unless you're buying something that's extremely fragile. Once the package is finally packed, you can pay for the shipping. You will have a short period to repackage it if you want to see what the different shipping costs are, but keep in mind that that might delay your figure from being shipped a few days. Step seven, ship your items and wait for the fun. Like I said, surface shipping should take about three to six months. If you're like me and you wanna get things super fast and you don't mind the cost of shipping things out, then FedEx is gonna take about two to six days to get to you. Step eight, open your box and enjoy. There's nothing like the feeling of opening up a new package full of figures, and I hope you really enjoyed it, and I hope this video helped you out. Thank you all for watching this video, and of course, thank you to Zen Market for sponsoring this video. All of my thoughts and steps in this video and of their service are my own. They didn't tell me to say any of this. I really do love their service, and I really love all of you guys for supporting this channel and this video. If you made it this far in the video, please leave a like, drop a comment down below with helpful tips and tricks that you might have been using in Zen Market, and maybe let me know if I missed any steps along the way. I'm still fairly new to Zen Market, but I feel like I've finally gotten the hang of it and see a lot of value in using the service to get a lot of figures out of Japan for fairly cheap. So thank you to all our members. Make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you want to sign up for our monthly giveaway, consider becoming a YouTube member. And of course, you can jump into our Discord server where we have discussions like this all the time. We do buy, sell, trade for figures, and we play plenty of games and have plenty of fun in growing this Dragon Ball figure collecting community. But until the next video, everybody, I will see you all later.